Hello Real Pros! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Richard Carvajal, your Real Property Expert. Wala talaga akong topic. Oh no! Wala ko i-discuss, wala ko property review, I'm not going to buy a property. But, makikipagkwentuhan na ako sa inyo. Because, uh, yun nga, uh, currently, I'm in a mixed feeling because I'm turning 30 in a few days. So, sa Tuesday, 30 years old na ako. And I'd like to talk about how I spent my 20s and what are the expectations so 30, no? The 20s talagang medyo, ano siya eh, parang I, I've set a high standard for it. Ang pinaka-worry ko is ma-disappoint pagdating ng 30s, no? Kasi sabi nga nila, pag 20s, you have to enjoy life, you still have time to make mistakes, and you should not take life seriously. But for me, medyo opposite kasi nangyari. So sa 20s, I, I did a lot of work, I missed out on a lot of my friends, and a lot of uh, gimmicks, a lot of outings, etc. Pero uh, kahit pa paano, na-enjoy ko naman yung 20s. Na-enjoy in a way na parang I was able to live my dream, I was able to do what I wanted, I was able to enjoy my passion, and I was able to inspire others then. No? So I think the hardest part of being 20 is I think the status quo of the society na parang Ay, pag 20 ka lang, ah, uh, okay. I, I've heard things that people calling me to be so ambitious, ah, uh, to, uh, to be a disappointment, and people are waiting for me to fail, uh, people are watching for my actions, gano'n. Uh, I think sometimes it's just a really Filipino culture na merong crab mentality, or all those things now. Pero, uh, the, the thing with 20s kasi is parang, People are waiting for you to make mistakes uh, because you, uh, during 20s, medyo fresh ka pa, I think. So you have high ambitions, you have high hopes, diba? And um, for majority of the people, they think that it's not achievable during your 20s. Well, I won't say nakuha ko lahat during 20s. So hindi naman na parang I was able to achieve all. Pero uh, majority of the time naman kasi parang if it wasn't given to you or um, if it wasn't given to you, hindi pa time. Pero you, you learn from it eh. At 21, I was able to enter the finance industry. And pagpasok ko sa finance and investment industry, it was so complicated kasi majority of the people there are really nasa 40s nila and nasa 50s nila. And I really don't know anything. Imagine a 21 years old would handle the money of their clients, no? For portfolio management and for investment. Pero I think, isang nagdala sa akin talaga is self-confidence. Instead of looking at them na parang kawal mo, you, you're, you, parang what you can do is to really look at to them in a way na parang you can idolize these people and you can really learn a lot from them. So, at 21, it was all about learning. It was all about, um, making experiences nga pero for me it was different eh. parang when people said na parang you can make mistakes because you're in your 20s i did quit my corporate job and then entered unstable an unstable job ng ano for example pagiging agent or selling insurance selling real estate for example and and that's where i learned a lot of things for me kasi parang if it was a mistake to resign from my corporate job then at least alam ko na it was early on i can still correct it however it was never a mistake so ang maganda sa akin maaga ko siya nasubukan and dun na ako na develop but during my 20s there's a lot of fear of missing out there's a lot of sacrifices na kailangan gawin no? and um in mid 20s naman uh, after all those sacrifices i was able to start reaping now, I, I was able to start enjoying the fruits of those sacrifices. So let me tell you this, na sacrificing is one of the best investments you'll ever make. Kasi double double yung balik niyan sa yun, no? Um, if you sacrifice now, if you do delayed gratification with your finances, if you really uh, practice investing well, whether it's real estate, whether it's the stock market, then you will be well rewarded. Talaga. Um, but for uh, 20s then, um, there's a lot of things that na parang ako naman grateful naman ako sa lahat ng blessings and a lot of people would message me and tell me na they, they, they want to achieve what I have achieved in the young age, especially yung mga Gen Z ngayon. Pero for me talaga, I think it's much better to enjoy life at the same time. 
while you're being able to enjoy kung ano yung ginagawa mo. Uh, does it make sense? Does, does it make sense? I think, I think, so parang ano lang siya eh. Ako kasi parang I enjoy working, I enjoy investing, I enjoy seeing the money grow, I enjoy making money, so all those things. So for me, hindi naman siya, I, I don't look at it as something na work related, but more of a passion and a hobby, siguro, no? And um, while I can talk about all the things na I'm proud of during as a 20 years old, I'd like to talk about ngayon na mag-30 na ako, no? And um, 30 talaga, ito yung expectation sa'yo na parang, ah, okay, uh, dapat mas serious, mas, uh, mas ibang level kumbaga ng life skills ang kailangan dito no uh, medyo ado uh, pero in general ako medyo matured talaga ako in terms of thinking in terms of independence of course i have my doubts then no kung paano ba talaga mamuhay as a 30 years old so kung meron pa yung tips diyan for me uh this so, i i know most of my viewers are older than me kaya nga very thankful ako eh. kasi even if i'm younger you guys uh, kayong real pro fam you're still parang uh, believing ko ano yung sinasabi ko no so but of course i want to learn wisdom from you guys then uh, because we are a community here so uh, i read every comment minsan hindi ako nakaka-reply pero i do read every single comment and i try to reply as much as I could. So, um, just give me tips no, on how to live a better life during 30 years old. So, during 20s, talagang feeling ko, it was dapat learn, 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 study, 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 and, um, you know, gain as much knowledge as you could. And then, pagdating naman ng 30s, dun mo gagamitin yung knowledge na yun. Diba? Kasi, sa sabi ko nga, if you give me a person an axe, diba, to, to cut the tree, he would spend parang four hours sharpening the axe and one hour for cutting the tree. It's important to apply then lahat ng natutunan sa 20s. Uh, ngayon na, I'm going na rin sa 30s. So, expectation and goals for 30s. Sana, um, continue pa rin yung ginagawa. And siguro, I'll focus more on vlogging. I'll have more time for vlogging talaga. I promise to produce more content. Uh, medyo busy months lang din kasi talaga ngayon. So, lately, hindi ako nakakapag-produce ng YouTube videos. And really, uh, gusto ko rin pa rin talaga, uh, you know, uh, continue my advocacy. Uh, go around, uh, especially I like going to the Middle East. I like going to Singapore, talking to you guys and hoping to meet you one day then uh, and share experiences then. And I hope you still join me uh, on my journey as I uh, turn 30 years old na, no? Better investments and wiser investments then. Uh, one advice siguro na dadalhin ko ngayon na yung turning 30 is to never be insecure of others, no? Because the only competition you have is yourself and you always have to strive better. Uh, well, ako naman for me, parang uh, nagawa ko na lahat ng gusto ko. So, for me, I think uh, I, I mean, during the 20s, it, it was such a good life. Eh? The awards, the, you know, the achievements, the travels, the enjoyment, the uh, reaping the investments, the money that I was earning from my investments as well. Ngayon naman sa, sa 30s, I think it's it should focus on uh, really building relationship with people. And I think medyo baliktad eh. Kasi sabi niya, 20s you have to enjoy and 30s you have to work hard. For me, because nag-work hard ako ng 20s, I think uh, mas i-enjoy ko tong 30s. So, you'll see me more in a casual way. Uh, siguro, not the serious life. Kasi in 20s talaga, like, the entire time during my 20s, para talaga ako lagi naka-corporate. People are parang shocked or they, they could not recognize me if I'm not wearing my coat and tie. And then recently lately, parang mas madalas na ako naka t-shirt, mas madalas na ako naka shorts, ganyan. And I think uh, for me, I like it that way. Kasi so, if there's one birthday wish, sana mag-grow pa tong channel so we can create a big community wherein we can help each other. And dream ko talaga para sa community ng channel na to is wherein because I'm receiving your messages that you, you have properties for sale, sana ma I'm able to exchange it with one another. No, to be able to help each other and para lahat din tayo nag-earn sa investments natin. In terms of 
money wise uh, I cannot promise na less shop because I ako, ako yung tao na parang if I work hard or if I invested in something hard feeling ko I deserve naman to buy the things na I want no? pero I think it's really about putting your money to where things matter the most no and probably I'll start acquiring bigger real estate properties then. ah ito isang property na wala ko is house and lot so pero medyo mahirap pa eh. kasi I'm the person talaga na gustong gusto ko ng condo living eh. yung tipong pagbaba mo nandiyan na lahat but we'll see and I'll update you guys so really ginawa ko lang tong video na to para makapagkwentuhan sa inyo and just to update you kung ano nangyayari sa akin and, just, and of course to ask for tips no, na pwede nyo ibigay sa akin on how to live my life during 30 years old no? uh, of course uh, because I'm turning 30 na rin less, yun nga sabi ko kanina uh, hindi ko naman meaning na less investment but rather less aggressive sa pag invest uh, medyo mas conservative kasi before talaga I can like do flipping in 2 or 3 months mga ganun na. So, medyo high risk talaga siya kasi I'm putting the money there tapos mamaya hindi ko pala siya ma-flip or something like that. So, ngayon medyo mas maglalayo ako because there's less room for mistakes. So, um, if you want to see uh, more anything you want to see, anything you want to share, please let me know. Uh, I'm here naman and uh, I hope you'll see another decade of my journey, no? Uh, sana you're still supporting me. But thank you very much, guys, really. Uh, even if I have small followers lang sa community, I appreciate it because you guys are legit followers. Eh. Talaga inter talagang interested kayo sa sinasabi ko. And, and I, I, I'm really grateful na you appreciate it. Kasi at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be here naman if no one trusted me. Anong ginaling ko as a real estate expert if no one is believing in me, diba? So, yun lang. Thank you so much for watching this video and celebrating with me during uh, small wins ng 20s and I hope we'll continue to celebrate each other's win during this new decade. So, yun. Uh, so, watch out for more vlogs. Uh, talaga, gagawa, na, gagawa na talaga ako ng mas maraming vlogs after this one. Again, this is Richard Carvajal. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. Don't forget to ring that bell button to like, to share, and of course, to comment your tips no, as I live my life, as, as I go sa pagiging 30. Please let me know some life skills. Uh, pati na rin ko paano maging stress-free and uh, maintain the looks na pang 20s. Yun lang. So, I'll see you next time. Please watch out for my upcoming video. Marami kaming nakaline up. Uh, so, guys, uh, thank you very much. And thank you in advance if you will uh, comment your greetings below. Uh, maraming salamat, hindi mo na ako makareply, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.